In this video, we look at ozone formation and ozone depletion. Ozone, which is O3, plays an important role by protecting living organisms from harmful UV radiation. So next we'll have a look at the equations for ozone formation. In the stratosphere, the strong covalent bond in O2, which is molecular oxygen, is broken by high energy UV radiation. So here we have O2, which is molecular oxygen, and in the presence of UV light, the strong covalent bond between the two oxygen atoms is broken, forming two oxygen radicals. So the oxygen atoms have unpaired electrons, which are shown by these dots here and here, and they're known as free radicals. So the next step in ozone formation, the free radicals produced in the previous step react with molecular oxygen to form ozone. So here we have the oxygen radical and it's reacting with O2, which is molecular oxygen, to form O3, which is ozone. This step is exothermic and the energy released raises the temperature of the stratosphere. Next we look at ozone depletion. The bonds in ozone are weaker than molecular oxygen, therefore are broken by lower energy UV radiation. The oxygen atoms react with another ozone molecule to form two oxygen molecules. In the first equation, we have the bonds in ozone being broken in the presence of UV light to form an oxygen radical and a molecule of oxygen, O2. In the second equation, we have a molecule of ozone reacting with an oxygen radical to form two molecules of O2, which is two molecules of oxygen. And the final point, the level of ozone in the stratosphere stays constant if the rate of ozone formation is equal to the rate of ozone depletion.